This is Minute Mask Tip 5 of 10 with Jeremy Schuback. The reason green screens are so great is if you want to pull out the background, even if you have something like complicated hair on it, all you need to do is go into Select, Color Range, and then adjust the fuzziness. So don't go too far one way, don't go too far the other way. Let's say right around here, kind of playing around with it right there. Say OK. And if you hit Mask right now, you're going to get that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Command Shift I to invert the selection. You can also left click with the lasso tool and say select inverse. And now if we get the mask, we do this. But this still isn't exactly what we want. We're still picking up a little bit of green on the edge. So to go one step further, undo, before we create that mask, I'm going to go to select and mask. I'm going to give it a little bit of a radius just to see if we can help it slightly more. And then I'm going to press, and it might be in uh, closed off, open up output settings, and then I'm going to press decontaminate colors, which is exactly here to fix color spill. And you'll notice it does an amazing job with the hair. Let's put it on layers. So just before, after, before, after, and then it creates it on a new layer. And then you have the old one still like this. So what you have now is this old layer, which hasn't been touched, this new layer, which if you turn off the mask looks super weird, but if you turn on the mask looks fantastic. And if you're looking at this color spill fix and saying, hey, that's not perfect, I agree. I have another way that I'm going to fix it a couple tips from now. This is just a small clip from my larger class, How to Use Masks in Photoshop, from beginner to expert in less than two hours. If you're interested, click the link below to sign up. After having taught over 100,000 people Photoshop, both live and online, I promise it's $29 that will save you years of frustration using Photoshop with far slower methods. $29, that's less than a cup of coffee. I live in the Bay Area.